Alright. Back to my channel. <laughs> it's been such a long time. I know it feels forever. A video up, which is uh, I completely redid a shirt out of like I thrifted and then I flipped it and then I styled it. I guess I wore it. I did a shirt, guys. It's so pretty from this like sequenced fabric. It was an ugly shirt, like ugly as heck. It was like a dollar, and I redid this very night out, like trendy kind of like this type of vibe going on very very cute and sexy so if you guys want to see how that went and how i created it go check it out because girl i got you today i am just applying some things that i've been finding very useful in my life my makeup routine has changed drastically like because of um like for example uh kim kardashian's makeup artist i'm so inspired by him like he's everything he's a babe um i think uh what's his face um sisters on james charles he also did some really crazy techniques that i found very cool and um jeffree star i mean so many others that are just run through what i think is just way better especially if you have dry skin like me um yeah i think that's it for today i also went ahead and told the crazy story about my first time at the goodwill bins and how if you guys want to just you know see more of it let me know but i found a authentic louis vuitton at the goodwill bins for uh, like 50 cents a dollar i'm not sure how much i paid exactly because they it's by pound but this thing is freaking beautiful i am so in love and i can't wait to go over there again so yeah you guys there's so much to this video i hope you guys stay like subscribe please it would mean so much to me please go ahead and subscribe and yeah let's get to the video we are here to deal with makeup and not to deal with problems so I'm gonna leave that behind and I'm gonna just go ahead and glam up for the day and I hope that you guys can find something useful and helpful I'm gonna try to like go in detail on how I you know kind of do my mind honestly I was trying to find something like crazy to do what video I should do but yeah no I want to get ready that's what I want to do I want to teach you guys some tricks that I know as a makeup artist, I guess, um, of how to get like the perfect makeup on, and yeah, let's go ahead and just go because I already said I was gonna start and I haven't started, so let's just start. <laughs> okay, so I already made a mess with my eyebrows. Um, with my eyebrows, it's kind of depending on the look I'm trying to go for. Um, if it's just a natural day, I'll just kind of fill it in and like brush it off. If it's going to be a hardcore bold eyebrow like the day, I make a mess. I go in and I brush it out, go in, brush it out. And sometimes, you know, there's residue out. And it's fine because for that, we have a great concealer here. This is uh, by the brand Amuse. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. I apply mostly um, all of it underneath my eye because what I do later is use it as my base for my eye. And then slightly a couple dots around my um, eyebrow. It's just like a flat, kind of thicker brush. And then what I do is, with my trusty old mirror, I kind of have to get in. That's why most people don't do their eyebrows on camera, because you have to get in close and look at the detail. And I have, in no shape or form, am I an expert in this. This is just how I do it. Alright guys, and then after I just applied a little bit of gel, just to like keep them in place and not move them anywhere by the way guys i just got in my um canon little remote control thing it is a lifesaver it is amazing i totally recommend it. i swear i pay like three bucks for this thing and ebay and it works and i am like 10 like not even i'm like seven feet away from the camera and now i don't have to turn stand up and like pause and play and all that so oh my god so much better anyways while i do my eyeshadow which by the way i'm using this oko okalan matte eyeshadow this right here i don't know if you guys have ever seen it. i think it's like on hush or something i've seen it a lot around i'm gonna go ahead and apply this um beauty hack um 100 pure sunflower oil with um vitamin e and what this does is like extremely moisturizes my skin i have a very dry skin so while i um am doing my eyes it's like in like eating up the moisture so it's ready for me to put primer and all that kind of jazz um, so yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and get a fluffy brush. For me, something angled like this works. And then what I'm gonna do first is obviously do transition shades. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a fall time look, 
I have a, uh, I looked up some cute pictures to see what I like, and I found one right here with like a, a, a fall, a kind of red burgundy kind of eyeshadow going, shade going in my lid area where like the lid closes, right here, where like you can feel the little gap closing, that's where I'm going to apply this transition shade, and transition shades are like co colors that are similar to your skin tone, but that'll work with other colors to kind of make it blend into like your sh your eye and make it seem like that's your eye you get me like not no harsh lines are going to be showing blending it's blending 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 it's honestly like a buildable process where you put a little bit on and you build and you kind of like you're just diffusing it into your lid and kind of taking a step back and seeing if that's good enough if, if you still need to blend it in uh you guys i went um to the Goodwill bins for the first time yesterday. It was amazing. It was epic. I mean, it does get a little like crazy in there, but I think I'm kind of used to that. I would go to flea markets and stuff when I was young. So, um, yeah. Oh my God, I got so many good things. I got a freaking authentic Louis Vuitton purse. It was a little like I need to show you guys. We were in there for an hour, and like the new bin was coming in. And so I was like distracted with other stuff because I didn't really like know how it worked. Like the guys were saying like, don't come in here, no. And I was like, oh, probably it's for tomorrow because we were we went like an hour to closing time. So we we're like, oh, it's probably for tomorrow. They're setting it up and they're like trying to get stuff ready for tomorrow. But no, like 20 minutes later, 15 minutes later, they like said, okay, you can come in. And so my friend, I wasn't even going to go. Like my friend was like, hey, they just opened this section. Like, do you want to go? And I was like, oh, yeah, of course. The moment I get there, I see this bag and I ran. I saw LV and I ran. Like, I fast walk as I was like, oh my god, is that what I think it is? Like, is it? WTF, what the heck? Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? Like, what in the world? And the reason that it was in there, because it has, um... Like, you, you guys, this is perfectly new. This here, like, this section is perfectly awesome, except for the handles. The handles are, like, like worn out. And I was like, um, who cares? Like, I don't care for the handles, and this is my solution. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side later. Um, but, yeah, I'm just, that you just decorate it. Like, hello, people use bags like this anyways. And this bag is amazing. And, you guys, based on the, my calculations, I paid, like, freaking 50 cents or less for that bag because it doesn't it doesn't weigh i think it weighs like well, no probably you know probably i paid a dollar for it but are you serious i'll pay 20 dollars. that's fine with me and um i'm not a thousand percent sure that it's authentic but it feels authentic like it's crazy good i i don't see anything that tells me not to so i'm just gonna live in my fantasy my fantasy that it is authentic and like like just Oh my god, it's just crazy. So like you can see here, I'm like over here. If you guys want to see what else I got, because I got some crazy, amazing things. I got like 18 items for $11, which is... Are you serious? Stop. Um, Yeah, I'm definitely going back there again. So if you guys want me to take you guys with me or show you a haul what I got or just talk more in depth because that, that just excites me, then let me know. I'll go ahead and do that. But for this boring video, I'm just kidding. I hope it's not boring because this is going to be like an open eye look where like most of the darkness is here. So my eyes look more open in the middle. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and switch to a smaller brush, something that is a little bit less fluffy. Um... This one right here is still kind of fluffy. Fluffy? Oh my god. Ooh, it's freaking dirty. <laughs> it's still kind of fluffy, but not as fluffy where like bristles are gonna start jumping out. Okay, these this will help the product just stay where you plant it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take like a very dark rich sh burgundy shade and like literally just keep that color in the outer part of my eye. And then go back with your fluffier brush and just um blend it. Blend it, blend it, blend it. I'm still learning to use this remote. I'm like, did it work? Did it work? Is it working? Okay, the outer cord. I don't know what's going on with me. It's been so too long. Uh, motorcycles. <laughs> it's on the floor because I throw it and then I forget about it and then I don't pick it up and then I just lose it. What I do is just apply this color halfway in my lid. 
like that. Stella, like, what are they called? Metallic pixel dust. They're super dope. I'm gonna grab it with my brush just because this is a little harder to work with. And then I'm just gonna apply it to the very top portion of my eyes. I'm not gonna bring it into the to the inner corner, just there, and you try to keep it in that radius of the center lid right here. I get like a brush like this, kind of like an eyeliner brush, and a very like dark, almost brown, uh, almost burgundy color, and just kind of like line my my line. Like if I were to be doing an eyeliner type of thing, but we're just gonna smoke it out just a tad bit. Like this is more like a. Uh, eyebrow lash brush but it's a little bit looser and then we're just gonna just kind of like um smoke it out a little bit not crazy but just a tad bit clean it out if you want to make it like a straight line go ahead and do that that's kind of like what i like to do it's just classy like primer i guess with like what's it called prep and prime thing i like to just moisturize my um uh, my setting sprays I add a lot of oils to because I have very dry skin so I like extra moisturize my skin this is a problem every day. Oh, I think you just scoot out a little bit no this is a problem of every time like what foundation should I use so let me just go ahead and choose foundation and I'll be back hold on all right I decided this is like five minutes later like of this Sonia Kashuk um like stick highlighter and I just apply this to the higher points and with my finger I'm just gonna like give my skin that healthy glow which i decided to use is this the good old very trust infallible l'oreal i haven't used this in a while and i want to use it so i am going to use it so what i've been doing you guys to like make my foundation last longer and just apply better is i apply with my fingers first and i like literally go to town with my fingers of course i want to do this with my clients i kind of do the brush first and then the beauty blender just to make the foundation look better and last a little longer i'm not taking it with the brush or just with the damp beauty blender but today i'm gonna go with the brush and just kind of finesse whatever like the texture i guess yeah definitely it's lighter whoa it's like ghosty like ashy but that's fine with me i always find a way to make things work and i don't worry about it because i was worse <laughs> <laughs> I do, however, don't judge me, like to wear much lighter um, concealer to brighten and conceal. Although, I am noticing that this concealer used to be way lighter on me and it looks darker. So, I'm like confused. Like, did I get lighter or did I get darker? Hmm. Or was I just all messed up and I was colorblind or didn't know how to choose my shades before? Which probably still don't. Constantly, like, either applying this or like moisturizing or doing my beauty blender again it just melts everything beautifully into the skin i guess labeling it's a foundation with velvet texture it's way darker than me so i bought it for that purpose of contouring so what i do is just apply the tatted spits um i this is the first time i'm using this specific foundation so let's see how it blends and stuff um i'm just blend it with the beauty blender because the beauty blender like i said takes a product and that's what I want with my contour I just want it to leave very little just the minimal residue of whatever in there this is just my skin oh my dolly's having nightmares can you guys hear her I don't know if you can hear mm. then guys um what is my life oh my god I need to set this foundation I swear what I do is with just my damp beauty blender I like put whatever Okay, I'm going to use this head because um, I definitely should have changed the blenders because that one was for my contour. What is my deal? But I'm just going to do that with another one. This one's already wet as well. Not wet, damp. So like, see, if I push it, nothing comes out, but it's damp for sure. Here I put the powder. My face is feeling a little dry. So I re... You're not even live, man. Eh? You're not even live. Yeah, I am. Oh, shit. You're not live. Okay. You don't know how many followers you have. Oh. Oh, like live. Oh, I'm recording. But I'm also put it in. Alright, so I'm... 
oh, so clean and now they're gonna get dirty I like to put my um bronzer on top of my contour I really don't like to go like super dark like those um darker gray colors from time to time I will but I like to keep it with this what's called like a cooler tone I guess like these um this is a uh, Bobbi Brown I don't know if you watch my videos ever before you'll see that I've used this for like the past six seven months I do blush and how I do that is just with the same bronzer brush I know I use the same thing I kind of smile with the perks of my apples and I just apply it there and I just bring it back whatever's left like I don't use anymore and then when I'm done with that the reason I, I use the same brush is because then I like to just go back and blend it together it's the same highlighter every day and that's a problem because I do own others and I tried and I use a dollar one instead like this is I don't know I've talked too good about it already like this is it I'm not saying no more you guys just test it for yourself check it out for yourself <laughs> loving using green under my eyes it feels like it puffs my color so pretty a hair so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this green under my eye like this it's um what is this L'Oreal infallible eye cream crayon it's like super creamy and super cute so cute guys I was using the Apple one dollar 69 from JD's <laughs> I swear it's not sponsored never ever but <laughs> this is like my favorite mascara but i'm gonna go ahead and do that nothing crazy and i'll be just right back and i'm just gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin one last time well no, not one last time just again and then i'm gonna go ahead and do my favorite combination of lipsticks um this one's by cara and then the color natural kiss also jve's product go ahead and use this kylie jenner in the color dulce i guess it's called and then i'm just gonna play in the outer part like this I like doing this a lot like you guys are, will think that I'm repetitive and stuff but I like doing this because it works it does make your eyes look sexier and bigger and fuller and everything and then I'm using this Amuse one this color in the shade Ooh, bear and I like to use my fingers because like, I feel like the warmth of it blends the products really nice. Makeup is looking. I'm going to coat myself again. Uh oh, I think the mascara was a little too fresh. Um, I like literally like waiting until it's like all dry, but yeah, not happening. I love this like pump is so much better. <laughs> Am I done? Oh my god, I am done. And, uh, ready to go guys let's see screw the fuck back bitch it's like so much darker uh ew get lighter ew 1.8 come on work it with 1.8 light looking at me a little better a little better all right guys i hope you guys found something useful Use either of these like tricks, techniques, whatever you want to call it. Do this makeup look. It's so like chic. So like goes with any outfit. This is the outfit I'm wearing today. It's like just a coat and like this top. And it's just like some like sweatpants kind of look. And then some heels. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'll probably, and I'll probably use my very nice brand new Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Alright you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed something out of it. Subscribe please, it'll mean so much to me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.